when you learn about DNA, especially in certain modalities out there, what's the standard forecast for your DNA that you hear from many magazines, from Sedona and places like that? What do they say about DNA that is happening now and is going to be in the future? Yes, well, that's scientific, you know, hardcore scientific. But what's the new age spiritual? That we're going to get more strands. Yes. They tell you that there's going to be 12 strands of DNA. Well, how many of you have actually seen a DNA molecule? How many of you actually saw the diagram of one? Mm -hmm. D double, double helix looks like a ladder. That's kind of a spiral ladder that twists down. And between the ladder are these rungs, and these pairings are on these rungs. Now, try to conceptualize 12 rungs or 12 strands. How could the DNA fit together? How could a male and a female come together and with half their, their genetic code match them if there were 12 strands. It's not even physically possible in a 3D world. And so when I bring this up to those people, they say, well, it's not for a 3D world. It's for when we go into the 15th and 97th dimensions and everything is energetic. But you need to realize if things are energetic, you don't need DNA. DNA is physical. It's for physical body creation. If you don't have a physical body, or if you have a light body, you don't need DNA because it's energy. So this is incorrect. <coughs> However, it's part of a disinformation because the number 12 is important to DNA, and that is because, and we'll learn that this afternoon, there were 12 donations of DNA to this experiment on Earth. So within your double helix are combinations of 12 different genetic types that have formed into the double helix. And if you know science and you studied genetic information from many different species, whether you're an amoeba or an elephant or a human being or an alien, all have double helix. That's just the only way it can form and create a physical body. So just keep that in mind. <laughs>